We're going to take a quick look at the cube blocker add-on. This thing is really quite simple. Once you've installed it, what you do is you just press Shift A and you'll have a little section for cube blocker. Now this thing is going to behave very similar to the create cube tool over here that comes with Blender, but it's a little bit different. So you might want to use this thing. It's particularly useful if you're creating modular environments and you want to go ahead and just block in some things real quick, but you could use it for props as well. So here's the main thing. Whenever I'm creating things, I'm using absolute grid snap. Just keep that in mind. And so if we were to go ahead and press shift A, create planar cube, we'll see we have this going on now. All right. So one of the first shortcuts or hotkeys you want to get used to using is X or Z, right? And that's going to be this little setup here. All right. And by default, it's using a snap div of two. So snap divisions, right? Uh, you can hold C and then move left or right to change that. However, you can also hold C and just mouse wheel up and down, which I think is a little bit more useful. Uh, I personally just press X and use the, uh, the blue ones here. So now the way this works out is that it has some benefits over the Create Cube tool, but it also has some disadvantages as well. We're just going to play around with a couple of the basic features here and not dive into this fully, but for the most part, if we want to change segment counts and line up to the grid, we can do that. So we can just click and drag, create a cube like so. If we hold shift, it'll incrementally snap, right? If we had something else we could snap to when it comes to height, we could also uh, press X and eventually do that. But you can see right now we'll snap back to the grid. It doesn't really work out that well. So I just hold shift, snap it up if needed. All right, when you're done with the tool, you're done creating these little cubes like this perhaps. Uh, all you do is just right click and get out of it. Now I did run into one bug you're going to want to be uh, pay particular attention to. You don't want to do this when you're using the tool, all right? And snaps are on here and you are drawing things out like this. Okay, it's very tempting sometimes to maybe uh, run into a side orthographic view. If you do that, these dots may become permanent and you'll have to restart Blender to get rid of them uh, and reload your file. So just don't go into orthographic view while using the tool. Just right click to get out of it. All right, so with that out of the way, there's a couple options here for different things. So you can see uh, we can change from a plane to a box by pressing H. So if we wanted to create a plane, that's all we do there. And so we also have um, what's called the hit filter. And we can also turn on a temporary grid. So we can press W to do that. So the grid, we'll press W. You'll see it lines up wherever your mouse is. So if you're over a dot and you press W, it'll show up there. Okay. So you can kind of place this thing where needed if you wanted to utilize it in that manner. Okay. Could be quite useful. The objects themselves will supersede the, um, the grid. So if you're not working um, on an object, the grid can be maybe quite useful. You can line up say that corner and then come over here and start working and laying something else out perhaps right something like that all right so that's quite good now we can always create other things as well we can do cubes we can do cylinders we have a corner cube as well so if you're doing modular environments this might be quite useful to you and so you can see when we do this number we hit x and you press c and mouse wheel down so that snap div turns lower uh, it will actually create the origin point at the corner there Okay, so if that's something you want, that's an option available to you, but you can definitely just go ahead and create like a cylinder or something like that. And you'll see here, circle cylinder, press X. Oop, okay, that's a good example of what I was going to talk about earlier. So you can see when we create the cylinder, we press X and we drag. We can't really tell what's going on here. So you may want to turn on wireframe up here. Okay, so that way you can tell what you're doing. Now we'll see the shape there. And I still have some little shadow distortions, but they'll go away once it starts extruding. And there we go. Okay, so what we can also do, I'm going to hit W to turn that grid off. You see how that works out there. So let's say I wanted to create, oh, actually created something over there. So let's say we do that again real quick. And we want to snap here to there. We move up. We do that number. But let's say we want to do one over here. We can work from the center. I think it's acts a little goofy sometimes. You hold Alt and Shift to do this. Um, but see, like that didn't quite go the way I thought it was going to go, right? So let's go ahead and just do cylinder again. And we'll go ahead and press X. We'll start pulling it out. You can see we can hold Shift. And we can bring that up. Now we can hold or we can hit X and we can line up to different points on other objects going up in the vertical as long as there's something to snap to. 
we can do that. Okay, so we can snap to here or here halfway. Okay, and then that's it. You're done. You created a blocked out little section there. So really quite useful, especially if you're going to be doing environments, right? You just go through this process, hitting the X. You might hit C and hold it down and mouse will up. You might be able to set up some things like this super fast. Yeah, just start blocking things in, basically. Pull that back, maybe. I do a little chamfer on it or something, whatever the case. So it's super useful. It's just a nice little addition to the add cube tool, which I made a video about already. And uh, it's still very good, by the way. So you do want to check out how to use that one. Anyways, that's the, uh, that's the add-on, guys. What do you think? I'll put a link on my website. You can download it there under uh, the resources section. So I'll check you out next video. Take care, all right?